I met the sky and today we're going to be reading Alan Turing. Now this is a story of a boy named Alan. He went to boarding school when he was very young and he met a friend there called Christopher. He also studied at Cambridge University. Let's hear about his story. Little People, Big Dreams, Alan Turing. Little Alan was a boy from London who went to boarding school when he was very young. He was shy and nobody expected much from him, but often the quietest people achieve the most extraordinary things. Platform 1 At school, Alan spent so much time alone that he learned to read all by himself. He could also solve mathematical problems in his head, his head before his teachers taught him how. Everything changed when Alan met Christopher. They both shared a passion for math and science and planned to study at Cambridge University together. Alan just couldn't imagine life without his friend. He had fallen in love. He was ready to move to Cambridge when he got some terrible news. Christopher had died suddenly. Alan, who had always been lonely, felt more alone than ever. University couldn't cure his broken heart, but it kept his brain busy. Soon, Alan was working on a crazy idea, a machine that could calculate any sum. That's the, that's the language that computers speak. Alan's design was the ancestor of the computers we use today, but he didn't have the chance to build it. Half of Europe had been invaded by Germany, and Alan's destiny was about to change forever. When Britain joined the war against Germany, Alan and other brilliant minds were hired to break the code used by the Germans to send secret messages to their soldiers. Mathematicians, chess players, engineers, they all failed to crack Enigma, the code-making machine built by the Nazis. Alan knew that another machine, not a human mind, was the only thing to beat it. Nobody believed in Alan's idea, so he wrote to the Prime Minister asking for help to build his device. Once he got permission, it was just a matter of time before his machine solved the first of many riddles. Alan's machine helped to win the war and save millions of lives. War is over, war is over. But his name was kept secret and no one knew he was a hero. Alan was just happy to go back to work on his computers. Tragically, Alan became the victim of an unfair law against gay people. He lost his job and was forced to take a strange treatment that made him feel very sad. It took more than 50 years for the British government to apologise for treating Alan and thousands of gay people so terribly. They showed great courage by being themselves in a great time in a time of great prejudice and today the world is much more open-minded thanks to little alan the father of computer science the boy who believed that those who can imagine anything can create the impossible that's the real machine Well, I wish I could be as imaginative as 
as Alan Turing. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, hit like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.